Hey guys, John from The John Muir Show here, and an anti-Trump author is going to be coming to Wisconsin next month. Bob Woodward has announced that he's going to be making stops in late October in both Madison and Milwaukee, discussing his new book, Fear, Trump in the White House, and also uh, discussing uh, how President Trump compares to the previous presidents that he has covered during his time as being part of the fake news media. So you see, uh, with Bob Woodward, what he's doing right here, what should be happening is when he compares President Trump to all these previous presidents, he should be saying, well, out of the eight presidents I covered before Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump is way better, leaps and bounds better, miles and miles ahead of seven of the eight presidents that I've covered. And the only one who he's not is somebody he's on a pretty level playing field with, and that would be President Ronald Reagan. Because quite frankly, if you take a look at the accomplishments President Trump's already had in his first 20 plus months in office, yeah, uh, if, if we were actually to redo Mount Rushmore, yeah, uh, Trump and Reagan would be right there with Washington and Lincoln. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the comparison that should be made, but I'm sure in uh, Woodward's uh, leftist bias view, that's gonna be far from the case. It's gonna be a bunch of, oh, Obama is the greatest president ever. Yeah, he's even better than Washington. Yeah, Trump sucks. Yeah, that's what you're going to be getting the entire time throughout Bob Woodward's little speech. And uh, when it comes to talking about that terrific book that Bob Woodward wrote, Fear in the Trump White House, uh, yeah, that's the same book where uh, some of the direct quotations that Woodward included uh, about how uh, members of the Trump White House of the Trump administration, they think Trump's a buffoon and they've been trying to undermine him at every turn and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, those uh, direct quotes have been uh, directly refuted by the individuals who were quoted as having said those things. Yeah, you've had some of the most respected people in the Trump administration. You've had people like General John Kelly. You've had people like Secretary Jim Mattis come out right and say, I never said those things. And you know what? Of course they didn't say those things. And of course Bob Woodward knows that, but Bob Woodward lied anyways. Bob Woodward put together this anti-Trump book that is full of lies. It completely belongs in one place in the library, and that is the fiction section. But Bob Woodward did anyways. You know why? Because he understood something. He understood something that he could capitalize on. That there is no group in this country that is easier to fool than the Trump haters. I mean, they they are just so blind to the truth. I I mean, you can throw any book out there, as long as you just fill it with a bunch of things that say Trump sucks and I hate Trump, you're gonna get all these mindless liberal sheep to go out there and buy their copies of it. And in addition to spending money on the book that I'm sure they're gonna pay for however much it costs to have the book signed by Bob Woodward, they'll go to these events, Bob Woodward starting his cross country tour to go talking about his book. I mean, they'll just eat every single part of it up. So, I mean, that's why people like this do it. That's why Bob Woodward and Michael Wolff and James Comey and Omaros, that's why all of them are writing books. There's no truth to any of what they're writing, but they just figure, hey, it's a way to cash in on money because these people are too stupid to realize they're wasting their money on a compilation of things that just aren't true. It's just absolutely outrageous that the people do this kind of stuff. I mean, you know what? For anybody, for anybody that's actually thinking about going to one of these Bob Woodward presentations and all that, I, I mean let alone to think you could actually spend that money with a night out of, I don't know, going to a concert, going to a sporting event, going to something where you actually get something relevant out of it. Heck, I, I forget about those things. I would take however much money it costs to get a ticket to Bob Woodward's event, and, and I would go to the bathroom, I, I would take a nice steaming dump in the toilet, and I would use that money to wipe my rear end with, because you're going to get a hell of a lot more out of your money if you do that than you are if you go to one of Bob Woodward's stupid Wisconsin events. That's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday morning, 8.40 a.m. WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.